Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about uh, JavaScript and uh, JavaScript variables. We have already talked about JavaScript variables, um, not directly, but indirectly. We have used them in our previous talks, but let's exclusively talk about them now. Uh, JavaScript, okay, as usual, I will go to my online REPL here, REPL.it. Choose JavaScript, it opens up a random, creates a random console for me. And last time I visited, this is how it was. Right, by default you will receive it like this, but I have done it like this. And then I will press F1 so that I get, I get more real estate here. Now what is, uh, let's start doing stuff that we usually do. Let me scale it up a bit, variable name equals mb so what happened i created a variable name uh, and the name of the variable is name and the value of the variable is mb so what happens is when i type var javascript will i'm letting know javascript that after this there is going to be the name of the variable and here the name of the variable is name and this equal symbol tells javascript that before uh, this equal symbol, there is a name of the variable, and after this equal symbol, there is the value for that variable. That is, if I type name now, it prints out the value of the variable. I can also do it like this. I can define a variable, variable name, and then I can give it a value. So when I print it out, it gives me the value. I can also do it like this first, middle, last. So I defined a bunch of variables. Then I can assign values to them. Middle. Right. So this is what I get. You have various ways of uh, doing it uh, uh, as a standard when you are working in an environment with many colleagues um, uh, in a project, usually they will have standard. Okay, okay, guys, we're gonna name our variables in camel case. Camel case is you start off a variable with all lowercase and whenever a new word comes up, if there's more than two words, then every, um, an, word after the first one will be uppercase for the first letter so superhero right so let me do this again my name is mb g of course uh i have to say my name is mb g as you can see, it's um, the four. There are four words here. The first word is zeroth word. So the zero word, the word zero is going to have going to be in lowercase. The next words first letter will be uppercase. The next words first letter will be uppercase. The next words first letter will be uppercase. The next word is again. The first letter will be uppercase. Another way of doing it is. So you can make it alpha numeric that is super as a hero right that is a valid one now you can do it like this you can have underscore super underscore hero again okay. uh, i had not put var in front of it so that that's why you saw the error you can also start with an underscore Usually what they do uh, in a developing environment is if you have, okay, so if a variable uh, is belongs to, or um, if a, a variable belongs to a certain class, or it has to be, uh, it's gonna be a temporary variable, uh, or if a variable is going to be used for only one function to that particular function, then you define it as underscore. Then you start it with underscore, uh, if a variable is going to be used for 
throughout um, the script or throughout the entire uh, project uh, it will be accessed by other functions or other programs also then let it be um, camel case if a variable is going to be for just that particular class then let it be with underscore so usually businesses will have our project will have such standards um, so it will vary again don't worry about the standards these will be defined by your project manager or whoever is your scrum master right so don't worry about what is a scrum and all that so you will know that when you are into a project you can also uh, in javascript this is also a valid argument a valid way of defining a variable so you can have this however this is not the one too fast too furious this is a name of the movie See, that is not a valid uh, name of the variable that is not how you can do you can also um, you are also not allowed to use uh, many of the names which are reserved by JavaScript. Let's say class equals now, right? Uh, one hint that you get is when you type this, right? You get this double dot letter. So it's uh, it's waiting for you to type something else because it knows that okay, this is not going to be a valid line, a valid argument. You can also not do variable function equals Funk. Well, hmm, variable function equal to funny. Yep, because uppercase uh, function uh, that can be defined as uh, you can take it as a variable, but lowercase function is reserved by JavaScript. A uh, lowercase function means you are defining a function so JavaScript don't want you to use that because your script uh, program will break. It is also recommended not to use the variations of the reserved uh, names for your variable. You know that this is reserved by JavaScript but you, you can use this. It is highly recommended that you don't use it. Uh, you also don't use let's say instead of this you make a t and use this you can if you want to mm, funny but obviously that is gonna you know get people confused and that is not the best way to do it you can do it if you wanna but not supposed to so that's all we had for variables thank you for tuning in you have a great one take care